I actually could not be any more excited for the next 24 hours. I've been meaning to do something like this for myself for like the longest time because these next couple of weeks for me are like so stressful, so much is going on. I feel like I've said that a lot in like maybe like every single video that I've been doing at the moment. And I preface it because just in case my energy is like a little bit off or like anything, just know that I'm always very, very stressed and I'm going to be ready to like, sounds really dramatic, ready to talk about it very soon because it'll be something that I do need to share with you guys. You're probably thinking like, what the fuck, Rachel, are you talking about? Honestly, it's exciting. Don't get me wrong. Just very stressful. You can guess if you want. So because of that, like, I've just, I've been wanting to just like go to like a spa or just like something and have some me time, unwinding time for like, the longest time. Tell me why my prayers were like answered. It's like I manifested it. I'm not joking. Obviously with my job comes so many like fortunate and amazing opportunities and just like things that present themselves to me. One of those things is like gifted things. And I always think it's like such an honor when like a hotel or like something like wants to gift you something because I feel like it just means that they know that my audience is just gonna like really enjoy it. And my like opinion on things is like, a good one and you guys ask me for recommendations all the time about things in manchester whether that be hotels spas places to go things so i feel like you guys are gonna absolutely love this and i'm like dying to take you along with me i feel like alone time and like solo dates are something that i on this channel speak about so much and do so much who's gonna spoil me better than me so i'm gonna take you guys along with me we're actually going for afternoon tea at the king street townhouse hotel which I'm so excited about. And then we're gonna stay over. So a little like just single, a one night staycation at the King Street Townhouse Hotel, which I have been dying to go to, but then obviously nothing would really make me stay in a hotel in Manchester because I live here. So it's like a little fun solo day. And I thought, let me take this opportunity to have this as like a spa day. They've got like an amazing spa there. So I put myself a massage for tomorrow morning. Honestly, like really just, being spoiled, spoiling myself. And if you guys have ever been looking for like a nice hotel in Manchester or things to do in Manchester, or you've been wanting to just like have a little day like this, obviously I know not everyone's in a position to just be able to take themselves to a spa, do you know what I mean? Very aware, very aware, reading the room, but I know some people can, some people wanna treat their partners, treat themselves, anything like that. So you should always make time for yourself, whether it be going to a spa or just like doing something at home or whatever that makes you happy. It's very important, especially if you've got like a lot on your mind and you're stressed, anything like that. I'm really trying to prioritize like my mental health at the moment because it could so easily just escalate just because I'm very stressed so I feel like this has been very much needed for me and I'm very excited but I of course want to take you guys along with me I actually find talking to like the camera and also just like talking out loud very therapeutic so it's all kind of like wrapped into this so this is going to be a very therapeutic night for me but speaking of therapy and it's just something that I think should be a priority for like everyone which is our mental health so I'm super excited to tell you about better help this next part of the video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp. I'm sure you guys have heard of BetterHelp. BetterHelp essentially is a platform that makes finding a therapist super easy because it's online. It's online therapy. And I love that their mission is basically to make therapy accessible because I feel like everyone benefits or like would benefit from therapy. It doesn't matter if you've not like necessarily gone through something traumatic or anything like that, which I know like is what people think therapies for like just if you've gone through something you go to a therapist which is true to a certain extent but as humans we just go through so much and sometimes you just like want to talk about it whether it's small problems big problems therapy and of course better help can just be there to give you tools to kind of like approach your life in a different way and what i love about the platform is like i said it's all online not everyone's got the time to like go to a therapy session so it's remote do it from the comfort of your own home no like sat in like a waiting room and you just fill out a few questions and you are assigned a therapist but of course, if you don't get on or like vibe with your therapist, which is so common, you're not 
guaranteed to vibe with someone straight away. It's kind of like dating. They'll just find you another one. Super easy. I've left a link in my description. If you guys want to check it out, the link is going to get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So why not give it a try? Connect with a therapist. See if it works for you. Like I said, you don't have to have gone through anything. It's just great to talk about our feelings. Relieve yourself of any stress, anxiety. I feel like online therapy is the way forward. You can be in the comfort of your own home, but really just working on yourself and I don't know. I just think it's great. It's such a great platform. So make sure you guys check it out. If you've been thinking about therapy, just thinking about your mental health, wanting to improve, feeling a bit anxious, anything like that, make the most of the offer. The link is down below. I actually did online therapy at the start of lockdown. Sorry, I just feel, I felt like I need to get up and move then. I was getting cramped on my feet. I actually did online therapy at like the beginning of lockdown and it was so good like i said i'd heard of better help through like other people too and i just feel like talking to someone literally just about anything that you might be struggling with is always something that we should be doing but now it is time to focus on de-stressing and just having a lovely afternoon a relaxing afternoon and the itinerary kind of like that i've been told or just like that i'm gonna be doing is we're actually gonna have some afternoon tea Afternoon tea is such an underrated activity and also what I'm loving about this as well Obviously if you're in a relationship, this is like just Inspo in terms of like doing this with like your boyfriend or girlfriend or something having a little night in a hotel I always think if I was in a relationship, I would do that I feel like it's just so fun and cute and just like a cute date night idea But also doing these kind of things on your own Like I'm gonna be going out for dinner later on my own like obviously at the hotel, but like I'm quite excited. I flipped the narrative of it being like nerve wracking and just think, I don't know, I'm just gonna be this like mysterious girl out for dinner on her own. No one knows like why I'm on my own. Like, could be interesting. I hope I don't get mistaken for a hooker or something or like an escort just like sat at the bar waiting. But you know, that's all part of the mystery, isn't it? And I'm kind of excited. I love doing things on my own, but sometimes it is daunting. So again, another sign if you're wanting to like venture out and have more like solo dates, this is the best inspo because i'm about to have the best night i think and just feel spoiled and i am being spoiled like i'm so grateful and because like i said i really wanted to do something like this for the longest time so yeah let's just shut the fuck up and go i am so excited Okay, well first things first, Vicky on reception at the King Street townhouse is an absolute babe. Like she was just the nicest person ever, but I feel like it's obligatory to show you the rooms, which are actually so gorgeous. I kind of love how much like character it has. Like you can see the stone in the wall there and the shutters and that little bench is like so cute. We've got, let's see. We've got like drinks fridge, coffee machine, or safe. Oh my God, guys, wait, look. The mugs have little mustaches on. I'm actually done. So cute. Oh my God, gorge wardrobe. And that is what I was most excited about, okay? A robe, there's just something about getting into a robe at a hotel that is just such a treat. Like it's honestly one of my favorite parts. And then look at these double doors into the bathroom. It would probably help if I turned some lights on, wouldn't it? There we go. But look at this bathroom. Oh my God. It has one of those tubs. The decor is just everything. And also a lot of their, you guys know I absolutely love Espar products. The massage I'm having tomorrow is gonna to be using Espar products, which again, very excited about. By the way, all of the details of like the things that I'm doing and everything like that, I will leave links to them down below if you guys wanna check them out because they actually sometimes have deals on they're having like a discount or like an offer on their afternoon tea which i feel like is cute i feel like they always have like little things like that which is like good to know and like fun things to know so i will leave the links anyway uh for future reference but i've got like yeah 15 minutes before my afternoon tea downstairs i think i'm just gonna wear this but i'm gonna like get some work done as well because i feel like i'm just gonna sip some tea eat some cakes get some shit done on my phone, headphones in. I feel like I really just like love doing that. Also having headphones or like one headphone, I feel like if you're doing things alone, just kind of takes the anxiety out of it because it just looks like you're busy, you know? But I am just, I'm feeling very grateful and very just like 
happy right now already just feeling 10 times better as one would doing something like this I feel like you have to do the obligatory oh, oh my gosh yeah yeah 10 out of 10 from me also look at this big ass mirror they, I love it when a hotel thinks about, you know, the selfies that people want to get, obviously, and provide you with a glorious mirror to do so. Also, this is the fit. I feel like this is cute for afternoon tea, right? Also, these Adidas shoes are like my new favorite things. They're so comfortable. I'm having the traditional afternoon tea. So I've got all of this to look forward to and scan this for the drinks. Sounds so good. They brought it out for like one person for the sandwiches down there. Bon appetit. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't usually go for something like this, but it's actually just too pretty not to try. standing in their way. The chaser. The chase is on. That afternoon tea was absolutely delicious. And apparently they've got 25% off the whole of August, which is fun. I love afternoon tea. I think I said this earlier, but just like such an underrated, fun, thing to do with like your mum or dad or partner or just like me on my own but I'm just chilling in bed now before you know it it's gonna be time for dinner which I'm super excited about I feel like my makeup looks kind of nice I feel like I'm just gonna leave it as that I don't want to like can't be asked to like do like a full face and I'm quite liking the minimal minimal eye makeup so I might although I say that I might put a lash on because I bought like a little dress to wear because I thought, why not? Let me like dress up and feel cute at dinner. But I'm gonna wear, well I was saying I was gonna wear trainers. I did bring little heels, but that might just be a bit too much. It is only a Wednesday, but I am gonna do that thing. Tell me if you're this person as well. I'm obviously gonna look at the menu now. So when I go downstairs, I'm just gonna literally be pretending to look at the menu because I already know. And I say this as if I also didn't already look at the menu in the car on the way here as well. Yeah, like I just like can't be faffing. I got my work done like at my afternoon tea earlier, just like it was just like things on my phone, like editing videos and stuff like that. So tonight I actually might just like turn my phone over and just do my other favorite thing to do, which is just people watch and listen and just yeah enjoy the atmosphere i can't envision i can't imagine it's going to be too busy but you never know i actually feel like at this point you can just assume i'm gonna have my hair like how i'm about to do it literally just up in like a curly bun just kind of like play around with it until it looks cute. And then I just used the like corkscrew curl wand from Mark Hill and just do like any little bits. You know, literally just like that. I feel like it's so effortless. Anyway, like I said, I bought like a little black dress to wear. I say little black dress. You know, and I thought just with like my leather jacket. And then I did bring like some sandals, but I am thinking, if I'm worried about being like too dressy, even though who cares? 
nobody here knows like why I'm here, what I'm doing, or like what my plans are. Do you know what I mean? Like I could wear heels. But like I said, it is only a Wednesday. But my Adidas shoes, they go with it too. My handles, so let's see, do I really live out the like mysterious fantasy or go with trainers? But the dress is from Zara and the shoes are also from Zara too. So let's put this on. Okay, so this is the dress. It's actually so cute because I really feel like this is old Zara. So I don't know if it's actually still available anymore. Anyway, let's see. Is it gonna be a full Zara fit? Do I do the sandals? Mm, I feel like it actually just kind of looks a bit too like I'm going on holiday or something vibes. I feel like I'll be more comfortable in the trainers anyway. I was wearing heels last night so my feet are low-key still a bit sore. But I'm very excited for this dinner. Like, I'm actually now really hungry. And I've been obviously having a look in the menu. I'm kind of in the mood for just like some cutesy vibes. And I feel like I might actually go to the rooftop afterwards and just have like a little look see and see what's up there but i don't know if you guys know or like have like heard of this hotel before i used to see it all of the time on like tiktok because they've got an infinity pool but we are going to be going up there tomorrow morning because i think that's where the spa is and stuff and so after my massage i'll be able to like have a dip in the pool trip to the spa guys also i'm these shoes are like brand new that's why i feel okay putting them on the bed no dirt or like marks or anything but this is it with the trainers i think this is the vibe oh my god this looks fun okay let's put some jewelry on let's just go gold simple i was like you know i said about being mysterious and like this is this is your chance to do that when you're just like in place on your own because i'd say nobody knows who you are but then i am literally just like down the road from where i live so like the possibility that I do see someone that I know is possibly quite high. It's not like I'm in like a foreign country or anything, but I was like, oh my God, I've got like a ring that kind of looks like an engagement ring. And I was like, oh my God, maybe I should actually put it on my like ring finger and see if people think I'm engaged. But then actually, do I want people to think I'm engaged? No. Hello, I want like a sugar daddy to approach me at the bar and be like, let me buy you Chanel. I actually might take these two bangles off and just have one. But this is the vibes. I feel like I'm just going to touch up my lips. Is my jacket just going to completely ruin it? I always feel like safer in a jacket, especially just like getting to the destination, even though I am literally just going down to the stairs. I mean, it doesn't ruin it. But it's not really a vibe. But I feel like I'll obviously just take it off the table anyway. Uh, let's have some dinner, shall we? So I feel like the elderflower and apple martini. I need to try it. Apparently these are their seasonal cocktails. And they all sound so good. And then this is the food. And he recommended the scallops and the monkfish, which also sounds really good. And he also recommended the duck. So I may have to go off with his recommendations. But the food here sounds insane. Okay, this looks so cute. Oh my god, that's so good. Apple and elderflower to me. And I went for the monkfish and that was really boring and got a steak. But there's loads of people actually dining in here alone. I feel like actually at a hotel that's fairly common. So suddenly don't feel so alone. This is the monk fish. It looks absolutely divine. <laughs> Can you tell that I thoroughly enjoyed that? Oh my god, you guys, that is an onion. I kid you not, but like I said, I got a steak. The presentation here is literally a 10-10. And if you know me, these are the exact kind of chips I absolutely love. But I am so excited for this as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always. Oh, so I 
think I'm gonna have to do it. Presentation here is just insane. Okay, I'm officially stuffed. Love that stuff so much. That was one of the nicest meals I've ever had. I'm not joking. That starter was so good. So shout out to the man that worked there that recommended it to me. Not really, I um, would not necessarily gravitate towards monkfish, but I did want to try something new, you know? But then I had the steak for the main. That was one of the nicest steaks I've ever had. And I've had a lot of steaks. Like it was just seasoned perfectly. Like if you're like me, I like love salty things. It was like just the perfect amount of like salty, juicy meat. Like it was amazing. And anything with mango, I've just, or, and coconut, I've just got to get it. And that dessert was gorgeous. And how nicely was it all like presented? I'm 100% going there for dinner again. Like obviously at hotels, you can just dine at the restaurant that they have. You don't need to necessarily be staying there. I'm so excited for the morning and my massage. I've actually never had a 90 minute massage before. And I will read out to you the one that I'm having when we're there. It's called the positivity massage. It's really what I need in my life right now. But I'm just in bed, gonna have a gorgeous night's sleep. I'm gonna watch some NCIS, get myself to bed. I've just been spying on Steve on my camera at home. I feel like he loves it when I'm not there. He loves it when I'm there, but he also just like is the man of the house when I'm not there. Tell me why he's like chilling on my sofa right now. So cute. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning and you know one of the perks of staying at a hotel, what you've got to do in the morning. Hi there, um, do I put room service orders through you? Yes, hi, can I please get a latte? Can I please get the, um, can I get the porridge then? But can I get it without the toasted seeds? I'm assuming that might just be something that's put on the top, but can I ask for it without? And can I have that just with um, semi-skimmed milk? Oh no, I'm a, I'm a regular milk girly. No, that's everything, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, bye. Room service. Got my frothy latte and this porridge looks insane. I can't wait to like mix it all together. I've just like drizzled some honey and it's got the fruit compote on the top. Just chilling watching NCIS before we head over to the spa. He specializes in I know this is crazy, but I've just suddenly thought, I don't know if I'll get another time to do it. I'm going to go to the pool. I'm going to check out the pool upstairs because the spa is in the building next door. And like after the spa, I feel like I'm it's checkout and going home. So let's go to the pool. Guys, this is an actual joke. I've just walked in. Um, so look at the view. I mean, it's obviously a bit of construction at the moment. You can just chill on lounges in here. And then, if I go up, look at the infinity pool. Is that a joke? Oh, I'm gonna need to get in right now. It is so warm in here, I'm gonna cry. And just like that, bye bye rum. You've done me well. But it's time to head next door to the spa. Got a little hot towel shot and a welcome tea. But guys, look how gorgeous it is in here. It's stunning. Oh my God, look how gorgeous this room is. We're just like hiding in the corner. <laughs> Hiding in the corner. I'm ready. Amazing. So I've got you booked in for the positivity massage. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. So this massage is a full body massage. Focus on breath work to begin with, visualizations, um, and then we go onto the back, doing the back, neck, and shoulders. 
back to the legs including the feet and then we focus just a little bit more on the foot area just kind of like getting those pressure points a little bit of reflexology in there turn you over fronts of legs hand and arm decollete and then we'll finish with a rose quartz scalp massage that sounds amazing i was wearing heels like the last couple of days oh so when you just said about that i'm like yeah. you're gonna give me like brand new feet oh my god people underestimate how nice a foot massage actually is so it's good how unreal does that sound but right it's time to strip off and i will see you on the other side massage, sorbet and water. I am back home now. I've just been like lapping up that feeling of just pure zen. I feel really like, I don't know, not that I want to like cry. Oh my God. I feel really just like emotional. <laughs> am I okay? I just feel very grateful that things like that I have access to. Like I'm just really want to preface that. I understand me being like, oh, if you're stressed, go to a spa. Like, that's not what I was trying to say. I just really want to preface that like, I, yeah, I'm just so grateful and fortunate to like be able to do these sorts of things. Cause I know they're not accessible to everyone. But like I said, I've been wanting to do something like that for ages. People like to spend their money on traveling or designer stuff. Like I really, I feel like you see it throughout my channel, like invest in, myself and just love to treat myself and like go to little things like this but I could not recommend that enough I literally have just left them a review on TripAdvisor saying like everything was a 10 out of 10 and I'm not just saying that I was genuinely so pleasantly surprised and Mia at the King Street Townhouse Spa that did my massage was incredible like I will be going back there a hundred percent because I, like even she said and the girls on the front desk said, like, the difference of when I went in to when I came out in terms of just my energy, the way that I looked, apparently they were just like, you look like you really needed that. And I feel like that's why I say, like, I was getting, like, a bit emotional because I hadn't really realised how much I just needed a night to, like, myself and, like, a massage and just, like, to de-stress and just, like, I don't know, treat myself in a way and just be zen with myself because like I said it's not been very zen for me recently so just feeling very grateful and blessed and like fortunate and just really good now I feel like I really like I said really really needed that and I would 100% recommend that to any of you guys in the sense of the the hotel and the spa but just like again like taking the time for yourself and doing something that you really enjoy if you're just feeling like a little bit overwhelmed and clouded at the moment just like prioritizing yourself you will never not thank yourself for doing that and speaking of which again better help what i mentioned at the beginning of this video if you've been considering therapy or anything but you know it just feels a bit daunting you don't know where to go or like you don't have the access to it better help is amazing it's all online i've left it down below and by clicking the link you can save 10 percent, which is incredible can't put a price on peace of mind either honestly all of the details that i've mentioned throughout this whole video are left in the description down below um yeah i'm ready well not like ready but i am maybe it's just like the vibes after having the massage and stuff i'm like i'm ready to face anything but yeah i'm excited to tell you guys what is <laughs> what is stressing me out and stuff in the near future but i really hope you guys enjoyed this took some inspo save it plan something in the future like i said you always ask me for places to go and recommendations this is definitely now like the top of my list take what you want from this video the summary was just meant to be prioritize yourself whatever that may be just make sure that you do it if you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed and just in need of like some you time anyways love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye